Hey, this is AM Media, and we're back with some yard sale, estate sale pickups. So, my girlfriend, the other half of this, uh, she said she was going to town. I told her about a couple of estate sale yard sales if she wanted to hit up real quick. And she said uh, she'd stop by. She does like to do some picking. And this is what she got. And I think she did pretty good. She's gotten really well at picking stuff. She knows some stuff. So, here we go. So, she bought these. We got Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? Said these were 50 cents. Thought she did some pretty good ones. Cheech and Chong. Uh, Eagles Hotel California. And then I thought these were the best ones of the stack. She got a Led Zeppelin. Houses of the Holy. Another Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin 2. And Led Zeppelin. So right there she was doing pretty good. I haven't looked up any of these. She said she didn't scan anything. She just went with what she thought was worth some money. So, um, she had fun. She said the media stuff was spread out throughout the estate sale. All this came from the estate sale. I think she went to four of them and she bought from two places. So, next she found some eight tracks. This is an Elton John. We do sell a few eight tracks here and there, we don't find them enough. Um, we do have an 8-track player. We do test them. So, what can happen sometimes is you play them and uh, the tape stuff breaks. So, like, oh, I got a good one. And then it breaks. So, I thought this was one of the better ones here. We got Madonna, Like a Virgin. I did look this up. This is like um, 1984. Well, I didn't look it up. I looked at the back. So, what you're going to see is after the 80s, they slow down a lot of being sold because people are buying cassettes and stuff. So, you don't see as much. And what you do see is a lot of country western because mostly truckers are the last ones holding out listening to 8-track. Uh, so, we got Madonna there and then we had uh, Sheena Easton. She said she didn't know this person, but she thought this one was super clean. I, eh, looks like it could be a good one. Decent at least. So next is on to the DVDs. So she said these were uh, 50 cents. So she got Midnight Express. So she's really good about quality control, which is checking if the discs are scratched. So usually if they're scratched, we don't pick them up because we just don't want to deal with that. We got the Real McCoy. 3,000 Miles of Graceland, which is funny. I just had a copy of this. Not nearly as clean as this one. But, uh... This movie's awesome. There's tons of shootouts. It's a good movie. The Fog. This one here. We, uh. I'm still trying to get through this movie. I've been watching it here and there. I have a copy on VHS. They do have a remake of it. This is the old one. Uh, Left Behind. Raising Cain. Joe Dirt. Uh, Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt does good on, uh, VHS. It does sell all the time. I don't know how well it does on DVD, but there is a chance. Suicide Kings. Great movie. Uh, this one here, I recommended it to a friend of mine. And he watched it and said he liked this movie a lot. So, Suicide Kings. Airheads. Uh, this movie always does well. You can find it on VHS. It's 15 to 20 bucks. I think it does pretty well on DVD. Hollow Man. Not sure about that. A Monty Python. Alright, let's go to the next stack here. We have Very Bad Things. Uh, Wolf Creek, I believe this is like a blockbuster text rental. A Cheech and Chong Nice Dreams. Here's this blockbuster exclusive of Death Proof, which could be uh, worth something because of this blockbuster exclusive. We have this Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles is a very popular movie. This movie can sell for three to five dollars, pretty much. The, we sold the Blu-ray the other day, used for like ten to twelve. So we have Johnny Dangerously. I don't know that movie. Bad Girls. Don't know that movie. And then Up in Smoke. All right. So now moving on to the VHS. Uh, this is where she says she does her best at. It's because we picked the most VHS out of everything. 
So let's see what we got here. We have Little Nicky, which I loved this movie when it came out. And I had been keeping the copies whenever I found it. So I don't know. I don't know if we have one right now. If not, I'm keeping this one. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. So here we go again. We have two of these different variations of the covers. but So here's a pretty cool one we've never had. Demon Knight. Tells from the Crypt. This looks like it could be worth some uh, decent money. I haven't looked it up, but it is a horror that we don't find. We have done well with The Shining. We've sold it numerous times. We have Invaders from Mars. This one looks like it has some money. I think we might have one of these listed, but I'm not sure. But again, this is her picks, and she did pretty well. Uh, she bought this NFL Crunch Course. We got a Hootie and the Blowfish uh, VHS. Young Frankenstein. The Lawnmower Man. So I have not watched this movie, but I've been watching these like 80s, 90s uh, sci-fi horror ones, and I've been liking the uh, the computer generated graphics. They're just awesome. They got that 80s, 90s vibe. So pretty cool. Just look at that right there. Some crazy stuff going on. We have Major League. So this looks like it could be an earlier release, which could help. We have Sort Circuit. We don't normally find this version of it. It just says Fox Video, not 20th Century Fox. This might be one of her better finds. It is Mars Attacks. It is sealed. Um, the, the thing with this one is that it is a Warner Brothers hit, so it's not worth as much money. It's about 20 bucks. We have It. You find this one kind of often. It's like a $5 movie. We have Alien Special Edition. Uh, this one here, I don't think we've ever found this version so it could be worth a few bucks we have body fever we have never found this movie it looks pretty cool she was trapped by drugs and hounded by the underworld so yeah there we go this look cool and I have to pop this one in and see what it's about we have contact I told her this one actually wasn't probably worth too much money but she thought the movie looked like it could be something good. Uh, a lot of people have seen that movie. This was actually one of the first DVDs that my parents owned when we bought a DVD player. Alright, here's a classic point break. Uh, this one, sometimes I just can't leave them behind because uh, I love this movie. It's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll just buy them and keep them list a few but I'm sure we have half a dozen of these again another movie that I love Time Cop uh, this one here is a great movie uh, I like uh, Judge Dredd and the other movie would be was it Demolition Man so Time Cop you can get a bunch of Van Damme movies lot them up together you can get 30 40 bucks for them so this is another movie I love. Oh, just kidding. Passion, passion Pleasures bonus. So these adult entertainment ones, uh, you can find them often. We do have a box or two of them. I may have to test these out. I'm not sure. <laughs> and here we go. I believe this could be around 20 bucks. This Aliens. So, yeah. Pretty clean. Pretty good. So these were her picks. She found all these at an estate sale. And then she went to a couple others. She said they were pretty bad. And she picked these two up. I don't know this movie at all. She bought it because it was sealed. And then she got 
this Beatles diary. And again, she bought it because it was sealed. And she probably saw Beatles. So there we go. Pretty good. Thank you.